Let's finish this episode off with our weekly pens poll. Obviously, we like to send it out on our Twitter page at Iceberg Podcast every week. Get your reaction as the listeners to this show and the fans of the Pittsburgh Penguins. And last week we asked, which top six configuration would you most like to see? B, one with 63%, and this is the configuration for option B. It was Gensel, Crosby, Raquel, Zucker, Malkin, Rust. That is the most liked configuration based on our listeners, based on our followers. A got 28%, which is basically what it finished at last season. Gensel, Crosby, Rust, Zucker, Malkin, Raquel. And then only 9% for the third option, which was Zucker, Crosby, and Raquel with Gensel, Malkin, and Rust as the second unit. Horwat, which of these configurations do you like heading into next season? B, ever since Raquel has gotten here, I've wanted him to play with Sidney Crosby, man. Yes. <laughs> just, cont- just anything with that sounds good to me, except for maybe the option where Kapanen is sliding into this list somehow. Uh, yeah, I didn't even I didn't even put Kapanen in this list because he doesn't deserve to be in this list as of right now. Maybe, maybe later in the season, but right now there's nobody that should be projecting him as a top six player. All right, so I got to go with uh, my, my option B – just because Raquel is, I want to see something new, something fresh. As much as it is fun to watch Crosby, Gensel, and Rust go at it and watch them just toy with defenses sometimes, mm. uh, something a little fresh. So you know, if you have to go back to old faithful, that's perfectly fine. Uh, mm. I don't, I just don't see an issue with giving those three a shot early in the season, seeing what they can do, and having a lot of runway to still re- you know, recover if you really need to. Mm-hmm. I think this team is good enough, at least. In the first two lines and if rust is down a line it's not going to change too much mm-hmm. and there will still be uh and you it, it shouldn't hamper your win loss record no it, sh- it really shouldn't rust down a line so i mean let's say it does well do it early so you have plenty of runway to work with here mm-hmm. here's the thing when i look at all of these options the best line is gensel crosby raquel in mm-hmm. my opinion. I mean, secondly would be Gensel, Crosby, Rust. Just because Gensel and Crosby together, if you get somebody competent on that right side, it's going to be a really, really good line. It's going to be clearly your top line, one of the best lines in all of hockey. But when I try to think of the best configuration, I'm one of the 9%. You know, what is going to work best for the Pittsburgh Penguins? I think that's option C. I think that's moving Jason Zucker up onto the top line with Crosby, letting him play with Raquel. That changes things up a little bit. But then giving Evgeny Malkin, somebody who, again, lofty expectations for me, might be a really bad look come May. Lofty expectations, though. If you put Gensel and Rust with Evgeny Malkin, the matchup that you're going to be able to create against opposing teams' second lines is completely unfair. Obviously, again, same as the last conversation, health is a massive factor. But Jason Zucker, in brief stints, has shown the ability to play exceptionally well with Sidney Crosby. Crosby just does that with players. Ricard Raquel, same thing. Small sample size, really good results. I understand that not many people are going to want to take Gensel and Crosby apart from each other, and that's fair. It's, it's, it's a pretty simple decision if you're Mike Sullivan. Hey, keep those two together. You're going to get success from that line. I think you're going to get success from that line anyway. It's Sidney Crosby. Yeah. If yeah. you put him with a guy like like Zucker, you got a guy that's going to forecheck, backcheck, create havoc on the ice. And then you have Raquel, who has great handles, great hockey IQ, fantastic passing, and an underrated finishing ability, along with Sidney Crosby, who is one of the greatest players in the history of the game. And then you have that second line of, Gensel, Malkin, Rust. I just really like that uh, configuration. I think that's the best thing for the Penguins. Do I think we'll see it? Probably not. But I do think that that's the best thing for the Pittsburgh Penguins. It's interesting. Yeah. I, I, it's it's definitely along the lines my, the lines of what I mentioned of changing things up a little. Yeah, that's just changing things up a lot. And I don't hate it because again, like we've mentioned, Sidney Crosby can make anyone pretty good. Mm-hmm. The fun thing about your option as well here is. We've seen Crosby and uh, Zucker have success before. Short sample size, but we've seen it before. We've seen Crosby and Raquel have success with success before. Short sample size again, but still, we've seen it. 
And then let's not forget what Crosby was out for a long time and Malkin's first line center wings were Rustin Gensel, were they not? They At were. least Jay Gensel. I mean, we can remember that's you know, that's who he was playing with when he got hurt uh, mm-hmm. before the bubble. Um and Rust, we we already know Malkin and Rust have something already there. So like everyone in this configuration has had success with each other anyway. Mm-hmm. I mean, just the most question mark question marky thing is the first line of Zucker and Raquel being wings together for the first time ever. But again, something new, something you work on in practice, do it early in the season, you have runway to adjust. Yeah, and here's the other thing with that. Uh, Guinea Malkin at his age, I do have lofty expectations. I think he's going to have a great season. When you compare Malkin versus Crosby on who can get the better out of their wings and do more for the people on the other sides of them, the answer is Sidney Crosby. Yeah. And, And of these wing sets, which set of wings needs more help when it comes to getting the most out of their ability? Zucker and Raquel. Yeah. Jake Gensel can drive play. We know this. Brian Rust at times can drive play. We know this. Rust and Gensel together can drive play. So put Malkin in the middle of that and watch it succeed. That's all I'm saying. I know it's it's not the most liked opinion, clearly only 9% of the vote. But uh, I, I think that is what's best for the Pittsburgh Penguins in this scenario. And obviously we're going to see how it all plays out in 52 days in day one of training camp and where these players end up starting in the, the, in the starting lineups and the line rushes. But I do think that that's a configuration that even if they don't start with, I think it would work really well if they get to at some point this season.